Every day are consumed more of 200 million of gummies in all the world. We find them in the shape of little bears, snakes, or even bottles, and their combination of flavor fruity with that texture elastic them has converted into one of the most popular and addictive of the history. But have you ever asked yourself how they are truly produced? What are these small and delicious jelly beans made of? Well then, today we will travel to Germany, home of the iconic factory of Haribo, the place where the first gummies of the planet and where every day more of 100 tons of ingredients are transformed into millions of small delights ready for conquering the world. So get ready, because you are about of discovering how are manufactured of shape massive the gummies most famous of the planet. Let's start. Step number one, the gelatinous base. Everything begins much before seeing one gummy inside of a bag. The heart of each little bear of rubber is born, starting from a mixture carefully selected of ingredients. Water purified, sugar refined, syrup of glucose, and the component key, gelatin. Although it seems simple, this formula is one of the most studied and perfected of all the sweets industries. The production starts in enormous tanks of steel stainless, where thousands of liters of water and syrup of glucose are poured, two ingredients essential for achieving the texture and that sweetness characteristic. Then it incorporated the gelatin, and here is where the magic happens. This ingredient is obtained from the collagen present in bones and cartilages and is responsible for providing elasticity, shine, and that texture so addictive that converts the gummies in a product so popular. All the mixture is heated gradually until reaching temperatures close to 120 degrees Celsius. Under that heat, the ingredients are melted in a liquid thick, shiny, and still very little appetizing. The most impactful is that this step occurs at an enormous scale. One single line of production can generate more than 30,000 liters of base gelatinous to the day, sufficient for manufacturing millions of gummies in one single day. Once that it reaches the consistency perfect, this liquid dense is pumped towards gigantic deposits thermally, where it is maintained hot and in constant movement, waiting for its following big transformation. Step number two, flavors and colors. With the base gelatinous ready and hot, arrives the moment of giving it life. In this point, the mixture has neither flavor nor color. It is a mass neutral, transparent, and without identity. But that is about to change radically. Thousands of liters of this base pass through a network of tanks dispensing where occurs one of the stages more decisive of all the process, the incorporation of the flavors and colors. Here is where it is defined if that mass tasteless is converted into a little bear of strawberry, a snake of lemon, or a bottle of cola. The operator's ad concentrates natural and artificial that provide the flavors more iconic – cherry, orange, raspberry, apple green, or pineapple. Each manufacturer has its own recipe secret. But there is one rule that never changes – the final flavor must be intense, balanced, and addictive to the palate. At the same time, each batch is divided into tanks individually where the colorant food is added that will give it its appearance definitively. Red Intense, Green Acid, Yellow Neon, or Blue Electric. The colors must be as potent as the flavor and maintain shiny during weeks without fading or losing its appeal. Once flavored and dyed, the mixture gelatinous, still hot and liquid is stored and remains ready to begin to take shape. Step number three, the perfect molding. Has arrived at the moment most awaited of all the production, giving shape to the gummies. The tons of mixture, flavored and colored, are pumped towards the lines of molding automatically. And here enters in game one of the machines most impressive of all the plants, the starch mogul. This system works with trays giant, filled with thousands of cavities with the shape exact of each gummy, from little bears and snakes until bottles, rings, or fruits. In fractions of a second, nozzles of precision inject the mixture liquid in each cavity with an exactitude surgical. Each drop must fall in the exact place, without overflowing nor remaining short. One minimal deviation could deform thousands of pieces, but what would represent losses millionaires for the company? The rhythm is brutal. In one single line, they are able to mold more than one million gummies per hour. And the most incredible is that each one has the size, the weight, and the proportion of gelatin, flavor, and color. Once refilled, the trays are piled carefully in shelves mobile ready for being transformed little by little in the delightful elastic that all we know. Paso number four, the rest in the drying. Once molded, the gummies still are far from being ready for exiting to the world. At this point, they are found in their most delicate phase, 
soft, sticky, and vulnerable, without the firm texture that all we recognize when biting them. For transforming in those delightful elastic that so much we enjoy, they must pass through a stage critical and meticulously controlled, the rest and drying. The trays loaded with figures recently molded are transferred to special chambers, where they remain between 12 and 24 hours. During this time, each figure loses humidity of shape gradually, hardening little by little until reaching the consistency ideal. In total, one single chamber of drying can house more than 10,000 trays simultaneously, which is equivalent to more than 8 million of gummies in process at the same time. But not is about simply leaving them dry. Each parameter counts – temperature, humidity, ventilation, and time. Everything is calibrated and controlled by the operators with a precision surgical. Drying too fast can provoke cracks or surfaces rough, and one too slow leaves figures soft, wet, and without body. At the end of the process, the figures now have shape definite, firmness ideal, and that shine translucent so characteristic. Now are gummies real but still not ready for dissolving in your mouth? Step number five, the polishing and the touch. Final, it is an hour of giving them the finish perfect to these small delights. The trays replete are emptied carefully, and the figures pass through enormous drums rotating, very similar to gigantic washing machines industrial. Here occurs one of the transformations more visual of all the processes. While rotating without stopping, potent systems of dosage spray over them a fine layer of wax edible, made starting from carnala, a substance vegetable extracted from a Brazilian palm that gives them that shine unmistakable. This coating not only beautifies, also creates a barrier protective front to the heat, the humidity, and the rubbing between them, maintaining each figure in state perfect during all the transport. The curious thing is that this same wax also is used for giving shine to fruits, enamels, and cosmetic products. But here, its only mission is one, converting to each gummy in a jewel edible. When they exit the drum, the result is impeccable. Gummies smooth, firm, shiny, and visually irresistible, ready for confronting its most demanding stage. Step number six, the control of quality. Although at simple sight they seem ready, each gummy still must surpass the filter most demanding of all the plan. Here there is no margin for errors. Each figure must have the size exact, the color adequate, the elasticity perfect, and zero imperfections. The millions of pieces advance at all speed through conveyor belts, while a system of cameras automated and sensors optical of highest resolution scans each unit with precision millimeter. These equipment can analyze up to 500,000 gummies per minute, detecting errors that the eye human never would notice. Deformations, colors unequal or tiny remains of the mold. The ones that do not comply with the standards are eliminated immediately and are recycled for being reprocessed more ahead. But that is only the beginning. After the scan digital, the operators extract batches at random and then submit to tests physical extremes where the weight is measured exactly, the resistance to the crushing, the texture to the touch, and even the capacity of rebound. The objective is assuring that each gummy that exits the factory is perfect, because if one is too soft, it will stick inside of the package. And if it is too hard, it will ruin the experience of the consumer at biting it. Finally, the test arrives definitively, the tasting human. Technicians specialize test samples of each batch for assuring themselves that the flavor, the texture, and the aroma are exactly the ones that millions of people recognize and love. Only the gummies that surpass all these tests continue their road. The others are discarded without contemplation. Thus. After surviving one of the most strict controls of all the industry food, these small delights are ready for their last big stop. Step number seven, packaging and distribution. After surpassing the control of quality, the gummies now are ready for exiting to the world. The millions of figures, shiny and elastic, fall in hoppers of steel stainless that then dispense with precision millimeters inside of the packages. Each bag must contain the exact quantity of units and weight, not one more, not one less. Before closing, each package receives an injection of nitrogen food, an invisible gas that preserves the freshness, protects the aroma, and prevents the gummies harden or stick during the transport. Then, the packages are sealed hermetically with heat, forming a barrier capable of supporting long journeys in extreme conditions. The bags ready are grouped in boxes, the boxes in pallets, 
and the pallets advance through conveyor belts automatically towards the centers of distribution. From there, the journey begins globally. Thousands of trucks, trains, boats, and airplanes transport these small delights to thousands of stores in more than 100 countries. For that, you make yourself one idea. Only in the factory central of Haribo are produced more of 50 million of gummies every day. Literally, there are more little bears of rubber in the world than human beings. And thus, what began as a mixture of gelatin and sugar now has converted into one of the more recognizable, irresistible, and consumed sweets of the world. To finish, tell us, did you imagine all this process? What is your favorite gummy shape? Leave us your answer in the comments. And if you like this video, do not forget to give it a like, subscribe, and activate the little bell for not losing the next journey through the factory.